What's up guys? So, like my robot impression, same day for me, probably a different day for you, but we're gonna switch this over, switch gears. I'm wrapping up this uh, brake line job on this uh, avalanche, but we'll switch this over to a tools in use. Check it out. Shut up and sit down. All right, fellas. So you've obviously seen me feature this in a couple other of my videos. I've actually been using it a lot lately, doing these uh, fuel line and brake line jobs. Like I said, it's getting boring, but here it is. This one's made by Master Cool. Uh, there's a couple other companies that may, I know Eastwood makes a decent one. Um, Fairmount makes one, but I like this one um, more or less for when it's on the car. I know a couple of those other ones are more or less for, uh, you know, in a vice and things like that. I like how universal this one is, but that's the case, heavy case. I got the, uh, the part number, you guys are seeing that upside down, 71475-PRC, but it's what's inside. This one definitely gets used. You got the, uh, you know, all your sizes up top for your double flares. This thing also does the uh, GM quick uh the transmission cooling line quick connect flare that ring around it and you can also use it for uh the fuel line too that accepts these where is that at i just saw it up here oh here it is that accepts these that way you could do the quick connect on it got a couple different sizes that one i don't believe came in the kit i bought that as an add-on but this is pretty much everything and then here's the, for the bigger sizes the push connect fittings for the bigger steel lines and then you've got your bubble flare which is nice they got all the sizes there that's just one flare there um, I do bubble flares but mostly the double flares um, 3 16 quarter things like that 5 16 so and then here's the main unit here it's hydraulic well basically uh, I'm getting down to my last line on that we'll walk over there I'll set you guys up over there we'll flare a line or two um, but yeah, you just get your uh, you get your blocks in there for the corresponding line you're working with, clamp it off, and uh, get a perfect flare every time. But let's let's get this thing in use, guys. I'll show you how how I use it. All right, guys. So I got you guys set up, kind of get everything in the shot. So what I do, I obviously like to run the line. I use bulk line. Um, I like to run my line, kind of route it where I need to go without flaring the ends, and then get it close to where it needs to be on one end. And that's the end you'll start with. You could, after we flare this line, we'll go down underneath, pull all the slack out, route it to where it needs to be, and then flare the other line. Sometimes you'll need room, so before you hook this side up, you could pull it. That way you could get at it with the tool, flare it, and then push it back. You'll know your length. But got the line here. Uh, there's the fitting that we saved. I actually had to save all of them on this one. There's like 16 of them involved here. Um, so I got this, and a quick tip. Um, obviously if I put this on it's gonna fall all the way down fall on the ground probably underneath the car But a quick tip what I do just use a little electrical tape Throw it on the line that way it doesn't fall it'll hold it for you if you guys are seeing that so Get the tool real quick That's how I set it up unscrew this Got the Quarter inch line Pretty much slide them in there. If you want to get started on it. You guys are seeing that and I'm not in the way. You want to keep it flush with this. Try to get it so you guys can see it. You don't want too much sticking out and the flare won't end up being perfect. But I like to keep it flush with the block. Tighten it off. Okay, and then this thing unscrews. You get your first one. This one will do your first flare. Just pop it into the little uh, guide for it there. Screw it in. 
then you'll close off the hydraulic pump and then just pump it a few times. It'll push it all the way down until it stops. Done. Then release the pressure, screw it. That'll be our first flare there. We don't need that one anymore. Grab the cone one. This is going to be our second flare, hence double flare. Screw that in until it touches the line. Close it off. Give it a few squeezes of the trigger here. That's it. Done. And then I just uh, loosen it up, pop it out. And that's it guys, gives you a perfect flare every time. There's a little piece inside there, but pretty nice fitting up on there. Make it look stock. You can see how nice it turns out. I really like this kit. And what's nice about this one is obviously we could walk up to the car. You know, we don't have to flare the line on the, on the vise on the, you know, on the bench and then bring it to the car. We could do it right on the car. So just a short one for you guys, tools in use <clears throat> on the Master Cool Universal Flare Tool. I'll leave, uh, I'll leave an Amazon affiliate link down below if you guys are looking into it. I think I paid, uh, I think it was like $4.99, obviously a few years ago for it. It's not bad for the price. That tool has definitely paid for itself, definitely saved me some major time. But I like it. Shop around, you guys looking into one like this, it's definitely a time saver. Link will be down below. Don't forget about, uh, we got February's uh, tool winner coming up soon. Just gotta find some time, been busy, be looking out for that video. You guys uh, ain't in it, you ain't in it. Head over to that video, get in it. We still got a couple of days. I'll probably get it out this week coming up. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one. Signing out.